Did you know that according to star investor Kathy Wood, Tesla stock will keep growing? Wood has always been known as a Tesla bull despite numerous issues that plagued the EV company's stocks. Wood bases her predictions on a thorough study of available data, so you really would not want to miss this one. Certainly all stocks are experiencing difficulty in this environment as the market tries to understand how far the Fed is going to go and how deep this recession is going to be. So Tesla, as I mentioned, is a solution to the problem, says Kathy Wood in a recent interview with Yahoo Finance. Who is Kathy Wood in the financial industry and why does it matter what she says? According to Forbes, Kathy Wood, an American investor, a star stock picker, and the founder, CEO, and CIO of ARK Invest, a company with $60 billion in assets that invests in innovations like self-driving cars and genomics. Kathy Wood is often called the most underrated investor in the game, since not only is she incredibly persuasive in her investment arguments, but she's also got the proven results to back up her surprisingly discerning claims. Kathy Wood provides monthly updates about several things, like monetary and economic policies, innovations, what can be expected in her field of expertise, and comments on the Fed's decisions. The Federal Reserve System, commonly known as the Fed, is the central bank of the United States which regulates the U.S. monetary and financial system. In a recent interview, Yahoo Finance anchor Julie Hyman asked Wood whether the economic shock that the ARK Invest leader talked about caused a subsequent shock to Wood's long-term holdings in Tesla in terms of the stock price and company financials. Wood said that all stocks are experiencing difficulty in this environment as the market tries to understand how far the Fed is going to go and how deep the recession is going to be. However, Wood believes that Tesla is a solution to the problem. According to Wood, it is very interesting to see that the gasoline demand in the U.S. this summer dropped to levels that have not been seen since 1997. That's real demand destruction, and it couldn't have happened, we do not believe, without electric vehicles at the margin taking huge shares from traditional automobiles, says Wood. That said, Wood believes that concerns should be directed at the traditional auto industry instead of the fast-emerging EV industry. We think that gas-powered vehicles are going to be obsolete within the next 5 to 10 years, and the traditional auto industry has to figure out a way to migrate into electric vehicles," explained Wood. According to Wood, there are a lot of innovations in the auto industry that put the traditional auto industry and consequently traditional automakers in harm's way. Wood pointed to Tesla's autonomous taxi platform as an example of such innovative change. The Yahoo Finance host also posted questions about Tesla. CEO Elon Musk's Twitter debacle. It turns out that ARK Invest founder and CEO Kathy Wood sees Twitter and Musk's acquisition of it in a good light. Wood said, We are prolific users of Twitter. We give away our research not when it's finished but as it's evolving, and our most prolific social platform out there is Twitter. Wood even stated that she is kind of excited to see what the billionaire business leader will do. I actually think he'll work closely with Jack Dorsey and maybe open up the ecosystem, take away the censorship, make it much more transparent, and I think add more value to that ecosystem," explained Wood. When asked whether she thinks it will be a mess when Twitter becomes a free-for-all platform of sorts, which may prove that finding valuable commentary may be a bit of a challenge, Wood said that ARK can filter debates themselves. Wood expounded, What's interesting about Twitter, we have a lot of debate around ARK's own strategies. We can filter that debate ourselves, so we can unfollow people if we think there's bad behavior, but that's our choice and we can follow those people who we think are moving discussions, whether it's about innovation or the economy. Moving discussions along, so I think there's a lot of wisdom out there." Wood added that they are kind of sick of the nonsense on various social platforms, and that Twitter will allow them to filter out the nonsense and get right down to business. Further into the interview, Yahoo Finance host Julie Hyman told Wood that her three to five year time horizon means not only kind of midterm or recession proofing her companies, or not just recession proofing her portfolio, but also kind of midterm proofing it. Your general election proofing your portfolio, Hyman told Wood. Hyman then proceeded to ask the ARK Invest leader how she goes about identifying disruptive innovation that doesn't get disrupted by public policy or political agenda. Wood answered, We have a six-metric scoring system very much focused on innovation. 
Wood explained that one of the scores in ARC's six metric scoring system is thesis risk, which apparently has a lot to do with government policy. In the early days of ARC in 2014 and 15, we were thinking, okay, government may be very concerned about the safety of autonomous vehicles. But as we've moved through these last eight years, what we've seen, thankfully, is the government and regulators in particular very focused on data. Said data shows that 85% to 90% of vehicular fatalities are caused by human error. That said, Wood concluded that once said human beings are taken out of the equation, 35 to 40,000 lives will be saved in the United States alone. According to Wood, there are around 1.25 million car fatalities across the globe, which is why Wood is gratified to see that the regulators are looking at Tesla vehicle fatalities and said that for the most part, most of those fatalities were caused by human error. Wood shared that the regulators informed them that people driving Tesla vehicles are much safer thanks to the various automated driving capabilities and that Tesla is up to 40% safer than most other cars. We're very focused on what governments are studying in terms of the data and if they stick to the data. Innovation typically solves problems and makes the world a better place, says Wood. It is no secret that the ARK Invest founder and CEO Kathy Wood is big on innovation. In fact, ARK Invest focuses solely on disruptive innovation, which explains why they are bullish on Tesla. As a matter of fact, terms such as disruptive innovation and convergence always seem to pop up when discussing the investing rationale behind Kathy Wood's hugely successful ARK Invest Asset Management Fund. ARK Invest has a lot of faith in Elon Musk's Tesla venture, so much so that the stock represents a whole 10% of the fund's capitalization. Tesla ticks a lot of the boxes when it comes to Kathy Wood's investment philosophy, which explains her bullishness on the EV company. Moreover, Tesla is a disruptor in the transportation space, which is straight out of Kathy Wood's playbook as ARK seeks out innovators and those changing the landscape in their respective fields. And while Tesla might not be the only EV firm in town, it is the one leading the pack and dictating the pace for its rivals in the race as well. Just recently, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest splurged on shares of Tesla in early October as shares of the electric vehicle maker helmed by Elon Musk tumbled to their lowest level in 11 weeks. Doubling down on a lofty investment, as analysts remain bullish, the firm can withstand weakening economic conditions as it gears up for third quarter earnings. According to ARK's daily transaction reports, two of the firm's funds, including its flagship ARK Innovation ETF, bought a combined 132,213 shares of Tesla, representing a stake worth around $32 million based on the stock's closing price. The transactions came a day after Tesla said it delivered a record 343,000 vehicles during the third quarter, up from 241,300 a year ago, but falling short of bullish analyst expectations calling for nearly 360 65,000 deliveries. ARK's flagship fund, which is down more than 60% so far this year, now holds more than 3 million Tesla shares worth around $739 million, its largest holding claiming some 10% of assets, compared to 8% allocated to Zoom Video Communications and 7% to Roku. Wood expects Tesla stock to hit $4,600 in 2026. Assuming that would be mid-year, Tesla stock would earn investors about 44% a year on average over the coming four-plus years. Go to Moomoo to see exactly how Tesla stock will perform. Link in bio. Overall, ARK Invest founder and CEO Kathy Wood remains more bullish than ever on Tesla stock. Wood, who is a huge proponent of innovation, continuously shows her support for Tesla and its forthcoming innovative projects. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so our community will keep growing.